And the hot topic around the country right now, of course, gun violence and finding ways to reduce it. Last night, the House of Representatives did pass a bill tightening up a gun safety regulation with Democrats generally voting in favor and Republicans against. But one South Florida Congresswoman was an outlier with her vote. Our senior political reporter, Michael Putney, has the story from the newsroom. Michael. Uh, Christy, we are talking about Miami Congresswoman Maria Elvira Salazar, a freshman, a Republican and a conservative. But last night she voted to raise the age to 21 to buy a semi-automatic rifle. The President Biden, all the credit. Maria Elvira Salazar was elected in 2020 to represent Miami's 27th congressional district, roughly Kendall to downtown. A swing district almost evenly divided between Republicans and Democrats, and with voters sick and tired of gun violence and supporting stricter gun safety laws, like expanded background checks, limiting the size of magazines, and raising the age to buy a semi-automatic rifle from 18 to 21. The shooter in Uvalde and the one in Buffalo had just turned 18, had no history of mental illness, and legally bought an AR-15 style assault rifle. Last night, the House of Representatives passed a bill raising the legal age to buy those weapons from 18 to 21. Voting in favor, Representative Salazar, without explaining why. Today, she turned down our interview request, but issued a statement saying, I fully support the Second Amendment and will protect the constitutional rights of all Americans while keeping our community safe. Just like Florida acted after the Parkland shooting, we can improve community safety through reasonable actions like raising the purchase to 21 for automatic rifles. Although Salazar voted to raise the minimum age, she voted against a ban on large capacity magazines and no on a ban for the so-called ghost guns. She's not reading the mood of this district. She's reading the playbook of, of the NRA for the most part and just picking and choosing where she wants to vote against even her own party. Russell, a Miami commissioner and a Democrat, is running for Salazar's seat. So is State Senator Annette Tadeo. Today, she said Salazar sided with the NRA and voted against sensible gun laws. It's abundantly clear that Congresswoman Elvira Salazar cannot be trusted to protect our children. Today, Representative Salazar also declined our invitation to appear Sunday on This Week in South Florida to explain her vote, raising the age to 21. But it's pretty clear she sees the way the winds are blowing in her congressional district. They're blowing against gun violence. In the newsroom, Michael Putney, Local 10 News. Well,